What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to be talking about Jeepers Creepers 5 in this video here today. I thought it'd be fitting to put out a video regarding Jeepers Creepers 5 since it's the 23rd anniversary of the first film which gave us Justin Long who has done such a great job in the horror genre ever since then. But the bad news, let's get that out the way. Here's the bad news out of the way up first up front jeepers creepers 5's chances of happening are delayed a bit longer it seems since myriad and infinity's fraud trial related to four is now continuing through january keep in mind i've been telling you guys they're supposed to have some sort of trial next month in september that's not happening that's been pushed to january now here's the latest update on the case now it goes to say here in this latest edition that was updated not too long ago on August 27th. It says this case arises from a dispute concerning the production and distribution of the fourth movie in the Jeepers Creepers movies franchise. It says on June 18, 2024, plaintiff Myriad Pictures filed the third amendment complaint against defendants Infinity Films Holding LLC, which is Michael O'Hoven, Brandon Farm LLC, Jake Seal, Screen Media Ventures LLC, which is a part of Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment independent frame is they, they go on the list a lot of different people involved in this but they alleged against these people these five causes of action for breach of contract breach of the implied covenant of good faith and fair dealing intentional interference with contractual relations relations and fraudulent concealment and declaratory relief now it goes on to further say knowing that myriad controlled distribution rights to all sequels and given that screen media had profited over 1 million from his distribution of jeepers creepers 3 in april 2018 david fannin president and seth needle the senior vice president of acquisitions for screen media made an offer to myriad and infinity to distribute jeepers creepers 4 in the united states keep in mind i have been telling you guys michael lohoven is the one who holds the rights to the actual franchise myriad pictures according to what they're alleging are the ones who have distribution rights or have at least have a right to first refusal now the terms of the offer from screen media to infinity and myriad included a nine hundred thousand dollar upfront advancement payment screen media was very eager to distribute jeepers creepers 4 and followed up with myriad and infinity several times regarding its offer O'Hoven advised Needle that they could not commit to any distribution deal with Screen Media at that time, given irregularities with Screen Media's accountings on Jeepers Creepers 3. O'Hoven said that he was unwilling to discuss any deal with Screen Media until the accounting gets sorted because he wanted to see that the equity investors on Jeepers Creepers 3 would be paid. These issues with Screen Media were not timely resolved and Myriad and Infinity were eventually forced to audit Screen Media on Jeepers Creepers 3. Goes on to further state, Screen Media was fully aware of Myriad's rights. Among other things, Myriad negotiated a license of certain U.S. rights to Jeepers Creepers 3 to Screen Media in or about February 2017. Now, what's interesting there is that gives you insight as to how and why Screen Media distributed the third film in the first place. So Myriad Pictures licensed their rights to do it and gave Myriad Pictures the opportunity to do it. That's what I'm taking away. Further, in 2018, while Myriad was attempting to develop Jeepers Creepers 4 with O'Hoven and Infinity, Seth Needle on behalf of Screen Media engaged in discussions with Kurt D'Amico on behalf of Myriad to distribute Jeepers Creepers 4 in the United States. On or about April 3rd, 2018, Screen Media presented a written offer to Myriad and Infinity to distribute Jeepers Creepers 4 in the United States. Thereafter, Seth Needle continued to follow up with D'Amico concerning Screen Media's offer and to express Screen Media's continued interest in distributing the picture in the United States. D'Amico sent a script treatment to Seth Needle on of Screen Media in November of 2018. Even beyond that, on or about November 2019, D'Amico expressed in D'Amico expressly informed Mark Damon of Screen Media that Myriad still held worldwide distribution rights for Jeepers Creepers sequels and warned him to ensure that Screen Media did not interfere with such rights. D'Amico was clear that Myriad's exclusive rights were subject to a right of first negotiation and last refusal, which rights had not yet been triggered. Myriad is informed and believes and based thereon alleges that despite Screen Media's knowledge and understanding that Myriad had agreements with Frame, Infinity, and Brandon Farm regarding exclusive distribution rights to Jeepers Creepers projects, in or about 2019, they believe Screen Media sought and unlawfully obtained Myriad's distribution rights to Jeepers Creepers 4 and Jeepers Creepers 5. 
because it goes on to mention that Variety reported in February 2021 that worldwide distribution rights in the franchise have been sold to Screen Media. During a recent conversation between Seth Needle and Kirk D'Amico, Needle admitted that Screen Media had already had a distribution agreement in place by February of 2021. On information and belief, Seth Needle, Dave Fannin, and or Mark Damon of Screen Media formed a conspiracy with O'Hoven and or Seal and their respective companies, Infinity, Brandon Farm, Oral Distributions, and PVS in or about the fall of 2019 to defraud Myriad out of its worldwide distribution rights to Jeepers Creepers 4 and 5. Screen Media and the Screen Media employees' unlawful conduct has prevented myriad from exercising its exclusive distribution rights to jeepers creepers 4 and jeepers creepers 5 as a direct and proximate result of screen media chicken soup for the soul entertainment and employees wrongful conduct myriad has been damaged in at least the sum of two million dollars with the exact amount to be proven at the time of the trial screen media and chicken soup for the soul entertainment conduct was a substantial factor in causing myriad's harm now here's where things get really interesting Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment and Screen Media Ventures filed a notice of bankruptcy on July 8th, 2024. And as such, the case is the case is stayed as to those defendants. Now, if that was a lot of legal term for you that you don't get, I'm sorry. <laughs> I will leave a link to this in the description. But the update of that is it seems as though if all of this is proven in this trial, we're going to be stripping away a lot of these bad apples. We're not going to have Screen Media. We'll hopefully not have Jake Seal. And considering that Michael O'Hoven is again the rights holders of this film franchise, hopefully Michael O'Hoven does not try to do the same thing or get caught up in the same thing with Jeepers Creepers 5. Hopefully all the things that are being alleged, if they're true, do not occur again during Jeepers Creepers 5. Because that way we can possibly look forward to a film that's of more quality. Here's the thing, though. The biggest takeaway for me is that I know this has got to be a headache for Michael O'Hoven. That's why I would have faith that someone wouldn't be silly enough to, to go through this again. This trial has been ongoing since 2021. This is what's holding up a Jeepers Creepers 5. And it's it's fine if you want to keep pointing the finger at Victor. Victor, again, doesn't own the rights. So it's someone else's fault here. It's the rights holders who are doing all of this alleged fraudulent activity with the IP. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Share never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.